Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change this green screen into this. Let's get started. First, you're going to need a video with a green background. You can record a video with a green background, or you can use stock footage. In this example, I'm going to use stock footage that I got from Canva. If you aren't familiar with Canva, it's a graphics design editor. I use it to create my thumbnails, pictures, and to get stock video for my tutorials on YouTube. You can use it for free, or you can obtain a pro license, which will get you access to more pictures, videos, and elements than the free version. In the description below, I'll place an affiliate link, which will get you a 30-day free trial to use the Canva pro license if you like. Trust me it is worth it all right so i'm in adobe premiere elements expert mode to apply a green screen is to go over to effects you can go down you can go to keying and you have all these different options to key i'm, I'm going to select the green screen key and then the other option if you need to find it you can just type green in here blue key, screen key and chroma key will also give you different options so i'm going to select green screen key and i'm going to apply it what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring a background in right now so i can see the difference i've got this picture of a backboard from Canva right in there. It looks pretty great straight applying the green screen key without any changes. But if you feel like you need to make some adjustments, you can go back. It gives you the option to change the threshold. So if you take it all the way over to the extreme, you can see the threshold change. If you take it to the left, that's what threshold does better just to leave it right at that 30%. But again, the cutoff cutoff too will make adjustments to where it is and how you want it. You can mess around with those settings and be able to apply it. There's also the smoothing. You can set the smoothing to high. Mask only gives you a different view to see what is basically masked. Because this the green screen key in this stock footage is applied to the background and to the tablet, in the tablet I can place another video or image. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring in another video. The video I'm bringing in, I went to DC, I checked out the cherry blossom. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this video in and then I'm gonna actually shrink it down. So make sure it fits right in there and I'm gonna get it right at the opening. I'm going to delete the audio for this one. And as you can see, it's not center. So I'm going to take the image and I'm going to drag it. So it's just right about there. I'm going to make it bigger in the middle, almost as if she's watching the video on the screen. And then next, just so it's not any bleeding on the side, I'm going to go to crop. I'm going to apply crop to this video. And then I'm going to keep the bottom fine. Just going to take a little bit off the left so you don't see it peeking through in the back. So just right about there. And then the right, they've already taken some off and then the top should be fine. So now I'm gonna play the video from right there. And then she's gonna look down and look back up. But as you see, if she's looking down, what happens is that it actually covers up the video. So I'm gonna go back into effects. Now I'm gonna apply basic 3D. So basic 3D allows me to change the position. As you can see, I can swivel it, tilt it, um, and change the distance to the image. So I'm going to use keyframes to allow the video to swivel as she moves it. So it's look like it's actually on the screen. If you aren't familiar with keyframes, I'll link to a video in the top right corner that explains five different ways that you can use keyframes and all the basics that you need to know. With basic 3D applied, the screen is going to tilt down. So at that point where it's tilted, that's the, the point. Um, I'm going to apply a keyframe and I'm also going to go back to the beginning to hold that beginning position. I'm going to apply a keyframe there, so that one's zero. And then at this point where it's tilted, I'm going to tilt the video right there and maybe even take the distance to image, see if I can back it out just a little bit, set that as a keyframe right there, and then jump back, set this to zero. So let me play that. So it's there, she's looking, it looks down, it tilts. And then what I need to do is tilt it back up. So the thing to make sure is that it's tilted and then as she tilts it back up, that that position where it's back straight, which would basically be right here, add keyframes there. So I want to set the swivel back to zero, um, distance to image back to zero. And then even as far as the position, moving the position, making sure that it's center again. So taking a look at it, it's there, she tilts it down and then tilts it back up and then to the audience looking, it doesn't look like it's changed. As I adjusted the basic 3D and I based it the motion and the scale, just adjusting it as the picture changes. So that is how you use the green screen key in Adobe Premiere Elements. Pretty straightforward. Just go in there, apply it. And then if you want, depending on your image, you can always use keyframes to adjust it and make the video come out a bit better. My name's Ish, and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today.